Hello everyone, I'm Shubh and you're watching F1 Error Nemesis. For those of you who are new to my channel, a quick background check. I work with the Red Bull Racing team for the 2021 and the 2022 season as a student placement aerodynamics, And this has given me some insights into the world of F1 aerodynamics. And my objective with this aero analysis series is to give you those insights. So let's dive into it then. Well, it's established that the Red Bull racing cars are a second ahead in front of everybody else on the grid. And what makes it so special, we will only come to know when there is an unfortunate incident at some point where we will be able to see what is on the underside of the floor of that car. But the second thing that was established is that the AMR23, the Aston Martins, are a quick car and arguably the second best car of this year at this point of the season. So in this video, what we are trying to do is we're trying to look at what makes the AMR23 so special. Keep in mind, there'll be some ifs and buts to this conversation. And what we are trying to do is we're gonna compare the AMR23 with the W14, which was expected to be one of the closest challengers to the RB19. So in this video, I have taken some help and I've done a collaboration with Juan Jahas Novik from F1 Technical with whom I did one of the previous videos. And in this video, we've taken the W14 side pod philosophy and the AMR23 side pod philosophy for an ISO wing and ISO rear suspension and ISO floor and try to see what are the differences in flow mechanisms that we see and try and understand if we can come up with some interesting aero mechanisms that are going on on this car. But before we dive in, a quick disclaimer that aerodynamics is complex and we might not fully know what's going on until and unless we see the cars and the CFD from the teams themselves, which is pretty much impossible. But as aerodynamicists and as engineers, it is our job to speculate and our job to try and learn together. So in this video, let's dive into it then. So before we begin this video, a big shout to Josh and Vissian who developed the initial model upon which Wanja has then carried the W14 side pods on the AMR style side pods. So let's get into the results, but a big shout out to these two guys who initially developed the model themselves. So let us first try and understand what the undercut is doing. So what you see right now is the CP distribution on the surface of the car. And you can clearly see that the undercut itself that is this shape is creating a region of high pressure, right? And what are the consequences of creating this region of high pressure? Now, what that does in this simulation, you can see is it lands up generating a lot of outwash on the front half of the flow leading edge. And if you remember, this is the place where you normally you'll have the, the front strakes exiting and there's a lot of outwash created, which results in flow expansion. So you can clearly see that the undercut itself is stimulating or encouraging more flow expansion from the top side of the floor itself which would drive your front floor performance so that's the first thing i can see it's clearly doing the second thing that i can see it doing is delivering high energy air across the g line the g line is the lower curvature that exists on the side pod uh, which basically goes until the rear half of the car and delivers high energy air near the mouse hole region which is this region and the region between the inner face of the rear tire and the diffuser that is this region so you can see that it's dividing the flow right into almost two separate parts one which goes on the upper side and then one which goes through this side tunnel and this is really important because if you might have seen some of the images the flow with images that came out of the red bull uh, which i will show you in a bit you almost remember how clean the, that flow was across this G line and how it delivered air to the rear part of the car. And just for reference, I've put that image on the side here. And you can see that in this case, for example, this would be your G line, right? And you can see how the air is being, you know, the side part is almost beautifully sculpted so that you deliver high energy air um, to the rear part, and you can see this is the mouse hole, to the rear part of the car. 
So it's helping you in that sense that it's clearly dividing the flow into two halves, one that goes on the upper side of the side pod and one which in which you are consciously or deliberately driving air from the undercut all the way to the rear part of the car through the G-line and the pressurization in the undercut helps you to drive that flow in that specific direction. So coming back to our CP distribution, what we can also see is that some of the flow is going up and now the question is what is this going to do? So obviously this flow is going to start spilling over right and gonna do that. And where is it going down? It's going down into the water slide. So it's gonna maybe support the water slide as the water slide itself is quite aggressive, but we will try and look at that particular aspect when we start seeing some slices. So the big takeaway in this slide at least is that the undercut is helping you to increase outwash on the front floor leading edge, right? And the second big takeaway is it divides the flow So that you're deliberately delivering high energy air between the rear tire face and the diffuser and then that air lands up improving your rear tire squirt management because of its high energy and then if you drive the air through the mouse hole that is this region it's quite powerful region uh, because it will shed a vortex that will add to the vorticity of the main vortex that is there in the diffuser itself but also will deliver high energy and clean energy air which will improve the overall health of the vortex which will allow the diffuser to expand a bit better or at least make the diffuser work harder um, without any possible separations or letting go inside the diffuser itself. Now let us see what the W14 style side pod is doing right. So if you see the W14 style side pod you can see this box inlet that they have and this cis tube winglet which we call as the mid wing right in some of our previous videos and the overall idea is that this winglet would produce the same effect as an undercut at least that's what we believe in which the pressurization from the wing itself would land up giving you the front tire wake management which I've spoken about in some of my previous videos so do check them out in case you do not understand what I exactly mean but the idea is that this winglet pressurization would help you control the front tire wake and keep the front tire wake away from the bodywork and, and attaching to the bodywork thus preventing it from then reaching the rear half of the car. But is it really doing that? So let's try and understand that at least from this CP distribution what we can see is that there is some form of outwash that is being driven which, which basically I think is primarily driven because of the downwash that this wing generates. So because this wing is downwashing it would land up creating a downwashing component of air which you can see because you know it's dragging all the air that is going from over the side pod all the way down which is what I think Mercedes intends it to do and then you have this air that is flowing from across the G line that is being delivered to the rear part of the car. Now here's the thing I do not see both the two key takeaways that you can see on the AMR 23 over here. What I mean is yes the airflow is being downwashed but where is it downwashing and where is it really going? Like there is no specific aim at where it is going and Bear in mind that you know this is a straight line simulation when we come to a yaw simulation which we've also done which is really cool uh, we'll see that this wing starts losing performance quite quickly uh, but more on that a little bit later on in the video but you can see that the outwash itself across the floor edge is not very powerful uh, compared to the AMR23 um, again it's a very loose comment because that outwash would be a function of a lot of things that is for example the front strakes and all of that but let's just say that the effect of the side pod in isolation creates less outwash on the front floor leading edge on the W14 concept as compared to the AMR23 and it does not divide the flow exactly to uh, deliver it to the rear part of the car as compared to the AMR23 um, in this simulation we did not have the mouse hole because this simulation is from an older video that we did but what I see missing is yes the wing creates downwash but where is that exactly going there is no specific distribution of airflow such that you can say that the air is going from the G line directly to the rear tire squirt 
and the mouse hole region and the top half of the air is going to go towards the rear suspension and from over the diffuser there's no specific division of airflow but what you can clearly see is the downwashing winglet itself or the mid wing is clearly producing downwash that would try and drag the air from the top of the side pod all the way to down and hopefully deliver it in an accurate ma manner to the rear half of the car well i really hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it and maybe you can tell me in the comments what are some of the potential aero mechanisms that you think are going on and maybe possibly that i have missed and please be kind with this because again Everything is not perfect, but as engineers, we can try to speculate. A big shout out to Wanja for all the amazing work that he's doing. He was extremely busy, but he was able to fit this into his schedule. So I am really grateful to him for doing this. So if you've enjoyed this video, give me a like. And if you love the aero analysis, the race weekend studies that we do, give me a subscribe. I'm looking forward to building this community of engineers and aerodynamicists so that we can all learn about F1 cars and make this sport more aware about the kind of technology that is involved in it when it comes to aerodynamics so help me in this conquest of building this community together and see you in the next video have a good one